guys, Marty Schwartz here of my project, Marty Music. Thank you for the continued support. Uh, this was a request. It's Black Magic Woman, the intro uh, by Santana, of course. So we'll dig in and uh, learn the licks and uh, you know all the stuff that goes into it. I hope you really dig it. Also, thank you for leaving your uh, comments below, liking, sharing, spreading the word on uh, my thing here, Marty Music. It's off to a great start, so thank you so much. Let's zoom in and break this one down. Here we go. All right, so the intro starts with the, it's a, over a D minor chord and the organ's playing a little line. And we can really think of the D minor pentatonic as the skeleton, but we're gonna use some of the notes, you know, that go beyond that, that are part of the D minor scale. So the first thing we do is we do a pull off from the 12 to the 10 on the G string. Then we go down to the seven and we pick it, slide it up a whole step and back. So up to the nine and back to the seven. Put that together, it sounds like this. The second time now, it plants on the 10th of the G, hammer on pull off on the 12. Then there's a little ghost note that's right here, and I'm using my middle finger on the eighth fret of the B, it's real subtle. And then the same thing with the slide up and back between the seven and the nine on the G. So you put that all together, it's over a D minor chord, it sounds like this. One more time. Next, the chords change. It goes D minor da, to G minor, G minor back to D minor, D minor back to G minor, G minor back to D minor. Right? So we're going to start on the 10th of the B, then 12 of the G, then 10 of the G slid to 9. So it sounds like this. And on that slide, G minor chord, it changes to G. Then the line is 12th fret G, 10, 9, slid to 7. Then you do the first one again. And then you do the second one, but it goes cuts off at, instead of sliding down to seven, it cuts off at the nine of the G, and then we're gonna form a D minor bar chord. So let's do everything from the top, here we go. Pull off. Seven, nine, seven. Hammer on pull off. Ghost note. Next line, 10 on the B, 12 on the G, 10 on the B, 12 on the G, then we go to the D minor chord, and I'm just kind of picking through the notes. With a, just a strong down strum on that beat. And we're just gonna think of it as the D minor pentatonic, but there's gonna be some half steps thrown in there which come from D Aeolian scale, or you could call also, also call it the D minor scale, D natural minor. So we're uh, doing this little part of the pentatonic, which would be the 13 of the B, middle fingers behind it for support, and we're gonna be falling back with our index on the 10. So we go. So I'm bending it, I'm bending the 13 up, and then I'm going natural. Then back up again, but no pick, so. This natural down has no pick, so. Watch again. So 
I fall back to the 10 on the B, then I'm gonna bend the 13 of the B again up a whole step. And you're holding that up and you let it relax down. And then you gotta get your index back onto the 10 of the B before you pull your ring finger off so you can hear that little kind of ghost note on the 10th fret. Like that, see I didn't pick it, but you heard that. All right, from the top of the blue stuff. Full speed. So the next line starts on a whole step bend on the 13 of the B again. So you bend that up a whole step. And then we're gonna play the same note, but on the 10th of the high E. And then we go down the pentatonic. So 10, 13, 10, 12, so. So when I get to the 12 of the G, I pick it natural, then I pick it again and I bend it up. So pick, pick again, bend up, natural, pull off to 10, slide to nine. Okay, from the top. Then, this lick, which is gonna be 10 to 13 on the B, then 12, 13 on the high E. So what we need to do now is we're, we're, first we did, which is 12, 13 with the ring and pinky. Then we go ring pinky again. And we gotta pull them off to get to the 10 of the high E. Again. Okay. So with your finger planted there, we're gonna go once again to a whole step bend on the 13 of the B. And we, once again, we relax it down and kind of fall back on that ghost note of the 10th fret of the B. And this time, he kind of bends twice without picking. So just with one pick, I did. And I'm always kind of pulling back to that 10th fret B string, and I'm getting that finger there before I'm releasing that. All right, so.
try that really slow now for you. Next, we do a whole step bend on the 13 of the B again. And then we climb down 10, 13, 10, and a rest. Like a little breath. And then we go to the 12th fret of the G string bend. Like that. So check it out. So we, uh, there's that G string bend, relax it, pull off to the 10 of the G, and then we're going to do this little G minor arpeggio right here. So this is out, this is where we're kind of playing notes. You could think of it as an arpeggio, but all these notes are part of the D minor scale. So we go 12 on the G, 11 on the B, 10 on the high E. 12 on the high E, slide that up to 13, and we're going to bend that 13 up a whole step, 13th fret of the high E, then I move it up a whole step, and this is just kind of blues kind of based stuff. Um, so it's the 15 whole step bend so we hold that bend up and we let it come back down natural and then we're gonna play the 13 of the high E 15 of the B 13 of the high E like this so Alright, so from this part, Ended. Then we're going to do a 17th fret bend, which would be a whole step and half step. Like that. So. So hope you're with me so far. Um, let's do it from right here. So then we do another bend there on that 13 of the B. Then down the scale with the rest. Rest, G string bend 12th fret. Re released to the G minor arpeggio. Seventeenth. After we bend that seventeen of the high E, we go back to the home row position, and we hit the root right there on the tenth fret, and we have this little descending line. Got a black magic, and then we're now we're grooving in the song. Okay, so.
from the top and then we'll work on the which is all blues scale based stuff so from the very top here we go pull off between the 12 and the 10 seven nine seven hammer on pull off ghosts descending Twelve of the G. Same thing again. Ten of the B. Twelve of the G. Cuts off chord. So now we go. So, so you start on that root, and then we're going to do a pre bend. So we're already kind of bent up on the 12th fret of the G string. And then we pull off to the 10. And then when it's natural, we go back to the 12 of, of the G. So just like that. Once we go natural, we bend it up again. And then natural. natural we're going to do a hammer on pull off between that 12 and 10 of the G like that which is you know a little theme in the song so we do a hammer on pull off then we get to the root which is the 12 of the D Hammer on pull off, then 12, 10, 12 on the D. Then bat, and then we're gonna go down the blues scale. So 10 on the D, then this little blues run here, which is 12, 11, 10. Then we just go down into this position of it, hold that, and then we end it on the root. Or you could, uh, you could end it on a chord. So 
So from this bend, Okay, so from the blues licks. I'm going to do it one more time really slow for you and just keep practicing keep listening to the original too here we go the chord bah! 13 of the B same bend again just need the minor one four five for the progression so got a black D minor got a black then a minor and then back to D minor D minor to G minor and then D minor A minor back to D minor do, 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 D minor Then it goes to A minor Back to D minor D minor Stays there Then goes to G minor And then a little turn around D minor A minor D minor And those, that's the progression that lesson thanks again for the support if there's a lesson you'd like to see me do go ahead and leave uh, your request in the comments below also thanks for liking the video sharing the video spreading the word on my project marty music it means the world to me you guys so thank you again and i uh, can't wait to see you uh, real soon see you later